This is another equilibrium type problem. It says Sir Lancelot rides slowly out on his horse on a castle at Camelot and onto the 12 meter long drawbridge that passes over the moat. Unbeknownst to him, his enemies have partially severed the vertical cable holding up the front end of the bridge so that it will break under a tension of 2,500 newtons. The bridge has a mass of 200 kilograms. The center of gravity is at its center. Lancelot, his lance, his armor, and his horse together have a combined mass of 600 kilograms. Draw a complete free body diagram of the bitch. Well, first thing is to isolate the bridge. So there it is. We have a force upward due to the tension of the cable. We have a normal force somewhere here due to Lancelot's horse and so forth. I'll draw it there. I have a weight do the bridge and then I have the pivot here which I'll replace with two forces an upward Y force and a horizontal force PX and these two components form the total force of the pivot. I also need to put in some critical dimensions. This distance here is L over 2. This distance over here is also L over 2. I do not know the distance to Lancelot's position with respect to the start of the bridge so I will simply make that some unknown value X. And last but not least I need an axis X, Y and a positive direction of torque. Alright that's the free body diagram. Isolate the body, inventory the forces with 1F, weight applied normal tension friction, put in a coordinate axis with a positive direction of rotation or in this case a positive torque and put in all critical angles and dimensions. There were no critical angles in this. All the forces are perpendicular to these moment arms and they're aligned along the X and Y axis. But I do need critical dimensions, these distances, the moment arms that I'll need for calculating torque. Now, it says find the force supplied by the bridge pivot when Lancelot and Lancelot's position with respect to castle when the cable breaks. So now all of a sudden this cable goes away. So boof, there's no T. There's only this bar or bridge with these forces, the normal force, the PX, and the PY. Now one of the things, in order to find the normal force, I could probably guess that, it's going to be the weight of Lancelot. You really need to have drawn Lancelot to find that. There's Lancelot, his horse, and his weight, and he has a W2 force, and the bridge is pushing up with the same force that he's pushing down, which is the normal force. The sum of the forces in Y is zero, so normal minus the weight of Lancelot, W2, is zero. And we put that in and we find that the normal force is W2, which is M2G. So because I have the mass of Lancelot, his armor, and his horse, I have the normal force that he's applying. So I know M. I know this force. Remember, this force is gone. They cut the rope. The weight of the drawbridge, I know it's. So I can find it. I have these two unknowns and this X, three unknowns. There are always three unknowns in one of these two-dimensional equilibrium problems. Let's go ahead and solve for the X some of the torques about point P, which I will call this point right here is equal to zero. PX and PY do nothing because they have no moment arm. W, yes, it has a torque. W, L over two, and it's turning it in the negative direction. Plus N times X, which I do not know. And remember, the tension is gone, so it's not there. So this is equal to zero. 
this says that x is equal to minus m times g times l over 2. And then I have n, but n is m2g. The g's cancel. And I get minus ml over 2 times the mass of Lancelot. And I have all these numbers. The mass of the bridge is 200 kilograms. The mass of Lancelot is 600 kilograms. So I have minus 200 kilograms, 2 times 600 kilograms. And I need L, the length of the bridge. I was told the length of the bridge. The bridge is 12 meters long. So, where is Lancelot when he breaks the bridge? Two hundred times twelve divided by twelve hundred gives me two meters. So, my drawing is not to scale. This is 12 meters along, the weight is 6 meters. The fact is, is that Lancelot is back over here somewhere, only 2 meters. He's not even a quarter of the way across the bridge. So my drawing is not to scale. That's all right. You don't have to know the answer before you start. You just have to set up the problem correctly. Now, I know N, I know W, I can find PY. I can also tell you PX is zero. Some of the forces in X is zero. There's only one force in the x direction. It's px. So px is zero newtons. Sum of the forces in y is zero. In the y I have a force py, a force w, and a force n to count. So py minus n minus w is zero. PY is equal to N plus W, which is M2G plus M1G, or put another way, PY is the sum of the masses, M1 plus M2, times G. Or actually, I didn't use M1, I guess. So that's 600 and 200, that's 800 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. So PY is approximately going to be just a little bit less than 8,000 newtons. 7,840 newtons. 7,840 newtons. So that was the three things I was asked for. Uh, the force supplied by the bridge's pivot. Seven thousand eight hundred and forty newtons J hat. So that's the answer to the pivot support. And Lancelot's position was two meters. That's what I was asked to solve. All right, see you on another video.